Hello everybody, it's Barbie Rocks and today I found another box in my attic which I had in storage for a couple of years and I wanted to bring it out so that I can show you my collection of male vintage dolls that I've been collecting over the years and trying to do my best in what I could find out there. So let's take a look at what's in this box. And for those of you who are collectors, here is um, Vintage Ken. And look at the handsomeness and the sideburns of this one. I love his ensemble, it's looking great. Now I do have another one that I showed earlier and in another video. And I love his retro vintage outfit. It brings you back to the 1960s, early 70s. And um, I'm loving his face too. And he looks fantastic. So, you know, if it's worthwhile trying to um, restore these dolls for the next generation. So the kids can enjoy these, these vintage dolls. Because, you know... They're not going to be in the quality that Mattel used to make them. Um, dolls were made in Japan. Clothing. And here is Vintage Ken 1960. But look at the outfits. It's really generally the outfits that are in great impeccable condition. Lined. And then they have the YKK zippers. As you can see so that's what makes these dolls fantastic I mean the face is a little bit artificially looking like in terms of what re what men look like nowadays but you know like for example here we've got in my collection I'm pulling out a James Dean he is so likable in terms of the resemblance and the time it took the artist to, to produce this doll. It just, he, he just looks wonderful. I love his t-shirt. And again, it's the quality of the um, clothing material and uh, just the way the doll's designed and everything. He's one of my favorites. I love the color of the hair. And makes one of my classic dolls also dolls. Here I've got like so many other dolls. Um, I used to collect um, vintage celebrity dolls is what I collected. Here's another one. See the color of the faces are so different. Uh, from vintage to 1970s to your 1980 dolls. You're going to get a different vibe. A different clothing different looks and uh, there's so it's just so rewarding to collect these kind of dolls um, here's one a lot of the dolls were found at secondhand stores vintage stores and um, when I was really into dolls that's where I would use go and find these dolls so I'm hoping you enjoy this box full of male dolls and the male dolls are fantastic. I'm trying to identify some of these dolls. Um, I have little tags where I try to figure out. This one says it's a 1991 Ken doll. 1991 Ken doll. So look at the facial screening on it. Eyebrows have faded and you know what? You can actually apply paint and restore the... Uh, color of his hair and just bring him back to life so there's a lot of dolls um, artists that um, can bring dolls back to life here's one kind of looks like uh, the President Carter to me I mean his face look at his get a good look at his face let's get a good look at his outfit outfits important it's a sporty outfit and um, so He's looking really good. I am just going to grab dolls because um, some of these dolls you might know the names of. 
and it's a large male collection oh he's got his jeans on. he hasn't got his jeans on but he does have shorts um clothing is another thing to take away when you have dolls like this i uh, found a little do a doll here and it's a female doll but generally in this box of dolls um this one here is more of a modern doll a lot of articulation in this doll I'm sure a lot of you can recognize the faces to these dolls and uh, what part of <clears throat> let's, let's, let's see what this doll is because it, it looks vintage there's some tags on it that might identify the doll it says um, 1981 All Star Ken uh, bends his 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 arms and muscles and so he's able to move around meaning that his waist is really bendable see can you see that it can rotate and so it's got a lot of flexibility so that's probably so it's all-star Ken uh, I've got his original shorts on which is a good thing um, it's really good doll because this one, this one is movable, so movable that um, his knees bend too. Okay, can I find my Elvis Presley doll? I am a diehard Elvis Presley fan. I've always been a diehard Elvis Presley fan. So if you're looking into trying to get this doll, I really sort of wanted to get this doll with. Um, with his wife Priscilla Presley I really tried hard to find her and um, I think just having that and his guitar and um, look at the clothing the clothing is ex is just exceptional um, I love I love the hairdo and the eyes and it's quite a resemblance to Elvis so, if you're looking at trying to find an Elvis doll, celebrity dolls, and you want to add that to your collection, well, here it is, and um, I love it. One, one of my favorites, we're just going to check out his eyebrows. The facial painting is just, the facial painting is just stunning. Very, very, very nice. Okay, um, I don't know what I have here, but let's check them out. Look at this doll. Seems seems like a doll from the 1980. It's a very heavy. Um, very, very heavy. Very solid and very masculine and muscular. So I don't know which doll this is, but I'm sure all you doll lovers can identify the face to this one. And see, he seems to have an ability to rotate his neck. It has like, um, okay, I can see way in the bottom we've got some more Ken dolls. Here's another one. Look at the facial screening to this one. Needs to be cleaned. And um, I've got a little tag. Let's see what it says. For this one here is a 1988 vintage Ken animal loving can so do you guys have animal loving can in your collection well this is what it looks like so if you want to get that into your collection I love the clothing I love the animated um, designed and the sewing that had um, the detailed sewing in the outfits is immaculate so it's a 1988 can and I love his shorts and he is obviously quite muscular so that's another great doll to add to your collection here we have another vintage doll really good looking now look at the clothing to this doll I love his shorts I love I'm loving his um shoes I've got a tag so it's um awesome idea if I have a tag this one here is your vintage Brad, original 1970, and he's wearing shorts, which is 11, I believe, um, number 1124. 
really good looking. Look at the facial screen on him. Okay, moving right along because this might be a very long video with the amount of dolls. Here I have Ken in an outfit, which is a doctor's outfit. He's got the mask on, and let's take a look at the mask. If we were to pull the mask down, might get a, a view of his face and the hat. So this is a vintage candle. Um, the little tag might tell me a little bit about this one. Kendall, circa 1960, early flocked hair. So it's got the flock hair. Let you see, you can barely see that, but anyhow, here's another doll. Um, I'm loving the outfit. I'm always looking at the tweed outfit because the outfits are just to die for. If you can save the outfits, I think for the next generation of children who appreciate dolls and want to restore the dolls so that it can be enjoyed for the next generation and years to come, you should take care of the outfits. This one here is your Bold and Gold 1436-1968 Ken. It's a 1968 Ken. You know, even though the paint is missing on the hair, that can always be repainted. And, you know, there's a joy in collecting dolls. Um, kind of takes you away from all the everyday seriousness of life. And you can enjoy something which will always remind you of your childhood and all the fun times you had with these fantastic dolls. This one is uh, very bendable at the waist. A lot of um, flexibility and turning. But look at these 19 pants, like these Argyle, a vintage Argyle pants, 1972, mod era, new look Ken. And now look at Ken. This is the new version or the new look of Ken. But let me just read a little caption. Um, it is, um, pants are from Best Buy in 1974 Best Buy created a lot of the uh, outfits for these dolls and it's quite a collection of dolls that I do have uh, this one is quite modern uh, let's check below here I'm just gonna randomly, randomly pull some of the interesting dolls like the one back here now this I love because I love the outfit this here must be another modern Ken doll um, you can see his pants, golden pants, in great shape. I'm loving his shoes. They don't match, but they are still intact. The leather, his leather, um, outfit is really nice. The colors are really nice, and he's got a wonderful facial feature and screen. Let's go down further. We've got another Ken, and this one, does he have, oh, it's missing shoe, but look at these awesome shorts, awesome shorts, an awesome top that belongs to this Ken. Look at the facial screening on him. Very nice. Okay, we are getting down to a little bit more of these beautiful dolls. Oh, another Argyle Pants. Very nice. Um, I'm just going to go into the box and show you what else is sitting here. We've got another one of the vintage Kent I can see. Um, he looks rather in good shape. I mean, there are no dents or tears or... Oh, wait, wait, wait. The nose seems to be a little bit scratches, but not, not noticeable. Nice pants, too, and um, I'm loving the clothing on this one. Uh, the clothing is um, rather nice. Oh, look at the back, how how the uh, actual um, shirt is sewn onto this doll. Oh, look at this one here. This is fantastic. I don't know what this is, but he is adorable. 
Let me just try to move the hair out of his face so you can get a good look at his face. I love, I'm loving the outfit actually. It's, it's, it's not just the doll, it's the outfit. And he's got some cowboy boots on. Uh, let's check out, I've got something here. Which is stating that this doll is um, 14, 14, 29 rally gear. 1969 to 1970 Maud Kendall vintage outfit 1973 Maud Hair Kendall. So this is a Maud Hair Kendall. So what that means is we are looking at like real hair. He's got a full set of hair. So let me know in the links below if you have a, one of these dolls. I seem to have a lot of these dolls. I've got quite a few of these dolls and maybe I should sell half of these dolls. Oh look, this is a talking one. So it's got the little um, pole, pole contraption and I don't think it works. Wish it did work, but I don't think it works. And here we've got another one of these Ken dolls. I mean, how many of these, these did I find? Because I'm wondering if anybody needs any of these ones here. Because I've got so many. Here we go. Another one. And this one here is Super Ken 1960 style Ken. Look at the difference in the faces. From 1960s to your 1970s. The face start to look very different. I'm just grabbing the bottom of the back box here. Ooh, look at this Ken doll. He's very different. And again, another mod doll. But, you know, this mod doll is dressed so, dressed so differently. It seems like the mod dolls are the most handsome dolls. I think I've got two in this box. So, I had no idea I even had these dolls. So, look at the way um, both these mod dolls appear to... To, to look very handsome faces uh, quite different though although they are the same dolls the faces are different but the outfits that they are in are special very very nice um, just trying to pull another doll this doll here seems a very different doll oh my god he looks like a a rocker here he is. Oh, he's got the Ken shoes on, which is nice to always have those shoes. And in the next video, I am going to show some accessories, 1960s accessories, which are hard to come by. But anyways, those are my boxes of dolls I've stored in the attic for quite a few years. And I have not taken them out until now, just to show my viewers what kind of dolls were sitting in this box here they are fantastic dolls um, it's a great collection um, for those of you who love to collect dolls I used to collect the um, celebrity dolls like James Dean and of course Elvis Presley was another one I love to collect those were my top 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 dolls that I, I really enjoyed collecting I've got some some ones like these ones here and some of the Ken dolls. And I've got another doll here. And uh, it's a bit of old fashioned doll. But here you get a sense of the doll collection that was sitting in the attic. My dolls are the female dolls. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, share, and subscribe. And I will have more awesome videos coming your way. Just stay tuned. And I, I have a lot of boxes. of. I've got another box here to show. And that one is a really interesting box. Because in it contains my, um, my 1960 Barbies. And that is really rare. Like the Barbies in there are very, very rare. Um, 
So I hope you enjoyed that because I have another set of um, dolls, to, another set of dolls to show you. Okay, so hope you enjoyed that. Excuse the mess behind, but I just wanted to show you what were in the boxes.